Hi, I'm Dev Nova. If you didn't know, I'm a lot more active on TikTok than YouTube. Something about the shorter video format feels a lot more casual to me, so it's easier to post content. I got an anxious brain. I recently posted about a simple animal farming hack I use in my survival world to separate baby mobs from their parents so I could, you know. <laughs> and people wanted to see a building tutorial for the barn I used to film it. And while barn building isn't nearly as exciting as sword swinging, I'm happy to walk you through how to make this charming wooden copper barn. Step one, the base. First, make a large cobblestone rectangle. The dimensions I used for this build are 14 blocks in the front and 13 along the side. You can adjust the size if you want. Just try to keep the front an even number so that the doorway can be centered. Now we're gonna add layers, like a cake. But don't eat it, though. <laughs> or do eat it, I'm not your mom. The layers should be cobblestone, cobblestone wall, trapdoors on the walls flipped up, and an upside down oak stairs. I put walls in the corners like this, with fences on top, and oak logs sticking two blocks out on each end, front to back. Then to add variation, I added in some mossy cobblestone, mm. and a few fences next to the trap doors on the side and back. Now if we move back to the front of the building, here's how I made the doorway, with a mix of oak stairs and slabs. I really like how trap doors connect to the walls and fences, so I added them to the doorway at the bottom. Step 2. The second floor. Build this oak log frame over your base. The log should sit back behind the oak steps. I accidentally missed putting logs here and here during this part. I'll add them in later, but you should put them in now. On top of the log, add a layer of steps and then a layer of spruce trapdoors. Flipped up. Now on to... <laughs> I guess that's what drum rolls sound like using this mic. Step 3. The roof. I used oxidized cut copper for the roof. Here's a diagram of the roof layout. Mmm, more diagrams. <laughs> the roof should jet out over your walls. This just adds depth to the build, making it look more interesting. Once you fill in the rest of the roof, let's put fences all up in this huge gap. Knock out a window and then put up these trap doors that kind of look like shutters. And here's where I start to put in the lighting. I add in these fences so that lanterns can hang out around the window. I also put lanterns on the undersides of all those logs that were sticking out. Step 4. The side barn... thing. Build out another rectangle connected to the first. This should be 11 by 13 blocks, but again, do what you want. The corner should be the same as the other rectangle, just shorter. This is where I realized I totally couldn't make this tutorial in a TikTok format. I mean, listen to how much I'm talking and we're only halfway through. Break out a three block doorway in the middle of the front and add fences and trap doors to make it look all official and doorway-like. Put some trap doors on top of the walls, like the other side. And now let's make the slanted roof. I decided to make this roof out of spruce because I felt like it. And I'm the god of this world. <laughs> Here's another diagram. Congrats, the main part of the building is done. Barn. Now it's time to add a mix of fun and useful details. First, add lighting underground and cover it up with the moss carpet to prevent those pesky mobs from spawning inside the barn. Here's how I put in the gates. Pretty simple. I bet you can do it just by looking at the screen. I like to put in multiple gates side by side because if there's just one and you're trying to move livestock through it, sometimes their fat butts block up the gate like an annoying living meat plug. <laughs> Two gates just works better. Now for the little outside entryway area. Use more cobblestone blocks and with slabs on top so that the mobs can't jump over and attack you. And then add walls to the front to make this 9x5 rectangle. I added a path, a crafting table, and some barrels for storage and decor. I also added lanterns on either side of the door. If you want to go all out, add a small pond here in front like I did. This is a great chance to bring in more plant variety, like sugarcane and flowers. And here's a tip, put some string on top of the sugarcane, or bamboo if you're using bamboo, to keep it from growing too tall. The string is practically invisible. I also added in some azalea trees. I don't really like how they look when they naturally grow, it's so lopsided. So I added some more leaves to the smaller side, and kind of rounded out a bit. I just think it looks like a prettier tree this way. In my survival world, I built this barn in a savanna biome, so I added in a lot of moss to make it greener because unlike grass, moss stays green in deserts and savanna. You can also add in more ground lighting around the building to keep all those creepers from ruining all your hard work. Or hire a few barn cats to scare them away. I mean, adding cats is always a good idea for like any project. This is the last step and a great way to make it easier to kill your livestock. Add a wall in the middle of the barn and put trap doors underneath the wall. And add a gate somewhere so you can get through too. If this barn is for sheep or cows, you only need one row of trap doors. But if it's for a smaller mob like chickens or pigs, add another row here. Shift click on top of the trap doors to place these. And if you're using a different mob, try it both ways and see what works best. In general, smaller mob needs two trap doors, and bigger only needs the one. When you breed up a lot of cows and are getting ready to harvest, 
Subleather? <laughs> then use wheat to lure the babies into the smaller part of the barn, trapping them from their parents. I always leave one parent alive so that the babies have someone to explain what death is to them. Or, if that cow's not brave enough, it can tell the little calves that their parents went on to live a happy life in another barn. In the countryside. <laughs> there you go. Now you have a totally functioning barn. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it was helpful. I haven't really done a tutorial before, so if I totally skipped a step somehow, just leave a note in the comments and I'll try to answer any questions. I'm getting close to 100 subscribers on YouTube and I'm so excited. So if you feel like it, consider subscribing and hopefully I can reach my goal soon. Thanks. Bye. As a bonus, if you flip down the second layer of trapdoors, then all the mobs try to jump on it. <laughs> and I think it's hilarious.